Hello, my name is Leah Bracken, and today I'm going to walk you through setting up Apex authentication and authorization with Identity Cloud Service. To start, let's create an application in Apex in which we'd like to apply the IDCS authentication. Log into your workspace, click App Builder, and select Create. For this demo, we will create a sample application using one of the provided tables in Apex. Great, we have created our application. Now we are going to create a trusted application in IDCS and link it to our application in Apex. Log into IDCS, click on the hamburger menu in the top left and select Applications. Click Add and select Confidential Application. Give a name to your IDCS application and click Next. Select Configure this application as a client now. Check Authorization Code and enter the redirect URL. The redirect URL follows this pattern shown here. Click Next through Resources and Web Tier Policy. Check Enforce Grants as Authorization and click Finish. Copy the client ID and client secret. We will need it later in this video. In the top right, click Activate. Now return to your Apex application. Back into App Builder, select Share Components and click into Web Credentials. In the top right, click Create. Give the web credentials a name and a static identifier. Leave authentication typed to basic authentication and paste in the client ID and client secret we received in the IDCS app creation. Create the web credential. Go back to Shared Components, select Authentication Schemes and click Create. Give the authentication scheme a name and select Scheme Type as Social Sign-In. Select the credential store as the web credential we just created. Provide the discovery URL from IDCS. The pattern is shown here. In scope, add groups to the profile and sub for username. In additional user attributes, add groups. At the top right, click Create. Click back into your authentication scheme. In source, add the following PLSQL code. Under Login Processing and Post Authentication Procedure Name, enter Load Dynamic Groups. Click Apply Changes. We have created our authentication scheme using IDCS. However, if we tried to log in right now, we would receive a message saying we do not have authorization. This is because we need to assign groups or users to our application in IDCS. Return to your application in IDCS. Under Groups, click Assign Groups. Assign a group you wish to have access to your Apex application. Return to App Builder in Apex. Click into Share Components and select Security Attributes. If there's a value selected under Authorization Scheme, deselect it. Under Source for Role or Group Schemes, select Custom Code, then click Apply Changes. Now we should be able to log into our Apex application using our IDCS credentials. Let's verify that our Apex application is pulling in our IDCS groups. Go back into Shared Components, at the top select SQL Workshop and click SQL Commands. Run the following command. Here we can see that our authentication scheme is working and is pulling in our groups from IDCS. Now let's create an authorization scheme based on one of our groups from IDCS. Let's navigate our way back to Share Components, then select Authorization Schemes. Click Create. Select the scheme type as in role or group. For both name entries, we need to get the exact name of your group in IDCS.
enter an error message and make sure the type is set to custom. Create the authorization scheme. Now let's test our authorization scheme by applying it to one of our pages in our application. Go back to your application and select one of the pages. With the page number highlighted, search for authorization. Select the scheme we just created. Save and go to your application. Here we can see that we have access to this page since we are in that IDCS group. Let's make it so we don't have access. Go back to your page designer and select not in your authorization scheme and refresh the application. Here we can see our scheme is working as our error message is displayed. Let's create an authorization scheme for an IDCS group we know we are not in. Navigate back to Authorization Schemes and Shared Components. Now let's verify we're not a member of the group we are creating the authorization scheme for. Let's create the authorization scheme for this group. Let's verify that this scheme works by applying it to our page in our application. Here we can see that our second authorization scheme is working. Today we have created Apex authentication and authorization schemes using IDCS. My name is Leah and I hope you found this video helpful.